Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I just kind of skipped the whole slow-mo beauty part um, that I normally do in my makeup looks because I'm so excited for this video. I am obsessed with this makeup look. First of all, it is like to die for and it was absolutely super simple to achieve. Um, with these makeup products that I'm going to show you guys, they are brand new to me and I'm pretty sure to you guys. Um, so this was actually my first time using all of these products on camera um, that are from the Laura Michelle Cosmetic line. So all of those products are actually really new to me. So it was my first time actually using it, using them. So I was really excited to get them out and use them for you guys. Um, they're really pretty. So the reason why I decided to dedicate this video to the Laura Michelle Cosmetic line is because it is official that I am going to be a like brand representative for Laura Michelle Cosmetic. I know I'm so excited. Um, it was it was kind of official like almost two weeks ago. I can't remember. I think two weeks ago. But I've been holding it in for you guys so I can get this video done and out to you guys so you guys can see how amazing these products are. Laura Michelle Cosmetics is a brand located here in the DFW area in Fort Worth. Um, I ran into the owner of the company when I went to the Two Scoops of Beauty event that was also in Fort Worth, Texas. You guys know I am located in Dallas in the Louisville area to be exact. So I went to this event. I was really excited and it was all about br the brunch part was all about breast cancer. And I won this mini prize and it had the Laura Michelle Cosmetic um, products in there. I was able to speak to the owner very briefly about some of the products that was in the bag. I didn't get to swatch anything there or look at anything because it was like crazy. So when I got home and I kind of opened up everything that I brought from the event because it was a ton of like cool stuff. came across and I was like, oh yeah. So I started, I used the brushes. Um, I think I used it in a video or just in a makeup look um, by themselves and they were amazing. It was only two brushes and I was just, I was in love with the brushes, with the quality, um, how easy they blend in and apply product. I was so in love with the brush that I actually contacted her and just explained to her how I was just like in love with the brushes and how I would love to do a collaboration with my YouTube and her brand if she didn't mind and so she reached back to me and we talked and she wanted me to help represent her brand and I'm so excited so she did send me a bunch of stuff guys um, to use on my YouTube channel so you guys will see some of her products quite often um, especially her brushes I'm going to do a separate video on all the things she sent me so if you want to check that out that video should be up after after this makeup tutorial so thank you guys for being here and subscribing to my channel and viewing my channel and viewing my videos um, and just being here and I just I'm so thankful for the companies and the people who are taking their time and effort and believing in me and seeing that I'm trying to grow and build my brand also guys if you haven't heard, I am doing a mini makeup class here in the Dallas area. So if you want to take my makeup class, it's called Glammed Up with Jack Yannette. It's right now the tickets are $65 when you use my code BEAUTYME20. And you can get $20 off the ticket, which will make it $65. I only have five tickets left. So hope I don't know how many I'll have left by the time this video gets up. Um, you'll get your own kit of beauty products and a separate bag of um, gifts from companies like Laura, Mich Laura Michelle Cosmetic. Let me stop rambling and get straight into this makeup look for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy and thank you for viewing this video. Bye guys! Okay guys, so usually I do start start with my eyebrows already complete but because I'm using the new brushes from Laura Michelle Cosmetics I want to kind of go through my eyebrow routine using these new brushes because usually I use my It Cosmetic brush and some other brush, um, two other brushes from a set that I have no idea where I got it from. So I'm going to go ahead and use um, these brushes. She sent me um, a whole little stack of um, eye brushes. Um, I don't have any face brushes, but I'm going to use all of her brushes I'm going to use are for the eyes. So I'm going to use this thin angle brush here. Um, to use for my pomade for the mix.
Okay, so as you guys know, once I do this step, I go in with the spoolie, with a spoolie brush, and my other brush has one connected, but she sent me a nice big spoolie brush. With and lastly, I like to take my MAC um, and bark powder, and I'm going to use this other angle brush by Laura Michelle. It's similar to this brush that I typically use so they look just alike. So quick side note, this brush is a little bit more stiffer than the like yellowish angle brush. Um, so this one it was really smooth and easy to apply your cream products and this one's good for powders. To clean up my eyebrow, um, I'm going to use this little flat brush. I'm thinking it's a lip brush, but I will list the name of the brushes um, down below for you guys because I didn't, I don't remember off the bat because she doesn't have numbers. So I think it's like a little lip brush, but I'm gonna use it for my concealer. And I'm going into my Measurable Difference palette here. So the next brush I'm going to use is this nice rounded pointed, um, I think this is like a nice detail brush. I'm going to go ahead and just blend out my concealer. It's okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do this eye off camera and then go into the rest of the look. So I really loved how my eyebrows turned out using the brushes. Um, they look really good and they came out really clean. I like them. Um, don't mind the extra light here under the brows because I was trying a new color of this concealer palette, which um, I don't know how I feel about it, but it'll get covered up. So, oh, well, let's just keep going. So I'm going to go in with my Clinique Super Primer. Um, this primer is good for different skin tones. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. So for my eyelid primer, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Um, this is the eyeshadow lock lid primer and it's just like in a nude color here. So I am going to use a maybe like one or two eye products, eyeshadow products that is not from her, not from this collection, because I need a few transition colors. Um, but I think it'll be okay. It's still gonna be a full look. So the color I'm going into is Mac Brown Script. You guys know I am in love with this color, and I'm gonna place this into my crease, kind of smoking that out a bit. Just a nice subtle transition color. I'm just making sure I am blending out this color really well right here at the top. We don't want it to be too harsh so and too red. So because I want this lid under the eyebrow a little bit cleaner, I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match in the color W4 Natural Beige. I'm going to use this Laura Michelle, and this is like a large eyeshadow brush here. It's semi-large, not super large. To clean that up, I'm just going to take this like large fluffy, this large 
fluffy brush here by the same line. So I have this gorgeous palette um, from Laura Michelle Cosmetics and this palette is called Party Girl. It's super cute. Love the colors here. And I know you guys are probably like, damn, purple again. I know guys, I'm sorry, but I really want to use this palette. I'm really, really excited. We're going to take another brush by Laura Michelle and this is another flat eyeshadow brush, I believe. If, if I'm wrong, the name will be down there, you guys know. They don't have color names, so I'm just gonna take this middle color here and go ahead and put that onto my lid. Then I'm gonna take my other brush by Laura Michelle. This is, I guess, from a separate set that she has. Um, and this is my pointed fluffy, fluffy brush. I think you guys seen this on my last video. And I'm going to take that dark purple that you saw in the same palette. Gently tap that and go ahead and dust that into the crease. Okay, so for right now, I think the eyes are good. I really want this look to be really easy and subtle. Um, I really like how clean this look really look. Um, so we're gonna go into the face here. I didn't, I don't have a liquid foundation from the company, so I'm going to go ahead and use my own. So the two products I'm gonna use today is the Becca Ever Matte um, Foundation, and this is in the color Mahogany. Mahogany. And the L'Oreal Infallible, and this is in the color 111 Soft Staple. So I think this foundation was a little bit too cool for me, but it kind of looks pretty good. We're still gonna contour and do everything else. So I'm going. The next I'm going to do is go ahead and go into the concealer from Laura Michelle Cosmetics, and this concealer is called Warm Yellow C9. So I'm going to use my Benai Banana Powder to go ahead and set under my eye here. For my contour, I'm going to use my MAC Studio Sculpt in the color NW55. You guys know about this. Um, I use, I've been using this since forever. Laura Michelle, and this is like a tapered fluffy brush. I don't know. I'll place the name down below. Wow, this kind of bakes and set. I'm going to go ahead and finish the eyes. Um, for my lashes, I'm going to use my obvious Mary Kay mascara to go ahead and get them lashes ready. For my lashes, I'm using the Ardell 105 Glamour Lashes, one of my favorite pairs. I'm going to pop them bad boys on off camera and then I'll be back. Okay, so my lashes are on. It is time to dust away the madness. Um, So now I'm going to go in with my Laura Michelle Cosmetic, and this is my Cool Neutral um, Face Powder, um, and this is in N10. And I'm just going to go over that highlighted area with this powder to kind of warm up the face a little bit. Thank you. 
So I'm really not loving the, how cool it is up here. So I'm going to take that same powder um, and go ahead and just kind of dust this over that cool tone to warm it up a little bit. So I like that a lot better than what it looked like before. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into that, back into that eyeshadow palette and take that dark purple color. And I'm going to place that underneath the waterline using this cute little brush. It's so cute. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this dark purple color from that same palette. I want to try this bronzer color that's also in there so I'm just going to use this little bronze color almost like a highlight because I just want to kind of warm the face up a little bit um, and it gives me a nice like golden next I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with my elf spray first so next so all the colors in this palette can get their shine I'm going to go in with this um, little pink tone here that is on the end of the palette and go in with that same little small brush that I did under my waterline with that pink color and place that in the inner corner of my eye here. So now that my face is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and do the lips. So the color I'm going to use for my lip liner is a Laura Michelle lip liner and this is in the color Black Plum. Next I'm going to go into the Laura Michelle lipstick and this is called On Point and this is a matte lipstick and it's so pretty. I'm really excited to try this lipstick. So lastly, I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with the Urban Decay um, D-Slick spray because I want this to last all day, you know. 